My name is Tony. Um, I first got involved with the Dream Center uh, about 10 days before Thanksgiving of 2015. I was first encouraged by Matthew, who told me it would be a great experience and turned out to be a great experience. About two weeks later, 17 people, all these people right here in this photograph, showed up and took over the house for about three hours. And they were working so hard and seemed to be so happy doing all that hard work. By the end of the day, I said to myself, I want to be like these kids. And then about maybe two weeks later, they arrived again to continue some of the work. Um, I remember seeing about four of them on their hands and knees scrubbing the floors, and mopping up, and things which hadn't been done for a long, long time by myself, because you know, I was really in a depressed condition. And as it turned out, early the very next year, last year, uh, Matthew invited me to become a member of the church. All the guys and girls at the Dream Center seemed like they accepted me in such a way that made me feel comfortable uh, to speak, um, to help out if I can with certain people. Um, it's been a complete, I've had a complete metamorphosis from isolation, loneliness, and depression to where I feel involved with a group of young kids who are really making me feel alive. Uh, well, the night I got saved was preceded um, three days before by a visitor from Tristan. We got to talk here about religion and faith. Um, and he, he used a phrase, uh, your story begins when you accept Christ. I never heard anybody say that. I asked him to repeat it, he repeated it. And I repeated it. And the more we talked about it, the more I began to accept that phrase as part of my thinking. Um, I began repeating that to myself over and over and over again to such a degree, that's all I was thinking about. Um, and then that night, somehow I fell asleep. In total, I slept seven and a half hours, which I hadn't done anything like that since February of 2011. <laughs> I slept about seven hours and 20 minutes straight without any interruption, without any bathroom visit or, or whatever. And when I woke up finally for the day, um, I recall having a feeling of calmness. Um, even though it was a very cold morning, I felt warm. Um, I didn't feel any night chill. Um, and the more I thought about it, and the more I began thinking of the connection to what Tristan told me about a story beginning when you accept Christ, I actually feel that perhaps at that moment uh, I was saved. It's given me like a new life. And ever since that, I've been attending every service ever since.